Ella and Mildred. Hey, have you received any mail lately? No, the last time I heard from your brother, he was telling me that work was going well and he should be back home on schedule. I don't know, I feel like you're keeping letters from me. <laughs> why would I keep letters from your brother? I'm not that petty. Then, tell me why you never want me at your house and you're always locked in your room. I told you I've been doing some very important web development work and you're not supposed to be in the house with me. You tend to make a lot of noise and want to talk. I need to concentrate. If I were you, I would have been enjoying all the money that my brother sends. Why do you even need to work? <sighs> I don't know why I have to keep on explaining myself. I love working. By the way, your brother and I spoke, and since your hip has healed, I have gotten you a job. What? I'm not that healed yet. He already sends me money, so why do you want me to get a job? I feel like that was your idea, not his. You have a kid that you need to provide for. My husband is not the father of that kid. He said that it's not in our budget to spend money on you anymore. He's working hard so that he will be able to stop doing his job. I don't believe it. Next time he called, I want to talk to him. You're being unfair right now. Mildred, you are acting like a brat. Your brother is working so hard in a foreign country that we cannot even get a hold of him on most days because he's in a remote area. Even though we are in the modern times, we have to write letters sometimes. Do you think that he wants to work there? No, he doesn't. But that is the best paying job that he has because he couldn't go to college since he was taking care of you. Oh, you're gonna go on about how it's my fault. Are you not? You're always like this. Gosh. Fine, I'll look for a job. Okay, good. A few days later. I didn't know that you dabbled in Bitcoin. It is a side hustle. Well, what a side hustle it is. Considering the fact that you have 900k worth of it. What the fuck, Mildred? Did you look through my laptop? I was only gone for 10 minutes to stock up on some essentials. Do I have to start locking my door now because you cannot be trusted? I was just curious about the work that you do. If you must know, I made some NFTs some times ago. And I've been trading in them. I have started to get some money. But that is a lot of money. Does my brother know about this? Why is he still working if you have all this money? He loves his work and he wants to do it one more time. We have plans with the money. Can you let me some then? No! You have to get a job like a normal person. We have plans for this money. A day later, Ella and mom. Hey, where are you? I'm at the spa. You're not always this late. Later that day. I'm starting to get worried now. I'm coming to your house. That night. Thank you so much for saving me, mom. What the hell happened? I've just woken up and luckily my phone was not that badly smashed. My sister-in-law tried to rob me off my Bitcoin. What the hell? How did she find out about it? She snooped through my stuff. When she found out about it, she asked me to lend her money and I refused. You know that she never pays back the money? She got violent and hit me on the head. When I came to, I was in the basement and my phone was broken. I cannot believe that she locked you in the basement. Thank goodness a piece of your shirt ripped and led me to you. You could have died in there. I don't know what is going on with her. This is so out of character for her. But I'm gonna talk to her brother about this. If I have to get the cops involved, then you best believe I will. So will she be able to access the Bitcoin? She needs a code to be able to access my wallet. She cannot guess it. What if she gets a very good hacker? Shit. And what if she found where I stashed the password on that laptop? I just had no idea that the enemy was so close to me. Don't worry about that right now. Just get some rest and we will sort it out. I wanted to talk to you about something, but it will have to wait till the morning. The next morning. Morning. I'm at home. I've changed all the locks and hired a guard. Okay, good. It'll be just quick. Brian is becoming a problem once again. What does he want now? Does he not feel guilty that he's the reason my brother is in the prison? He doesn't care. He wants his money from the drugs that your brother got busted with. How much is it now? Did he add more interest? He has added 2k more. So now it's 44k that he wants. Let me secure the Bitcoin, then I'm gonna pay him. But we have been paying him and he keeps on making more demands. He's making your brother's life a living hell in prison. Gosh, I know. 
I hate that man so much. I'm so sorry to have burdened you with this. Don't worry, I'll fix this. A couple of hours later, Ella and Mildred. I'm going to press charges against you for stealing my laptop. I don't care, but you will not find that laptop and your Bitcoin will be lost forever. You do know that you cannot do anything without those codes, right? I know. That is why you're gonna give them to me. <laughs> why would I do that? Because I know your secret. Does my brother know? What secret are you talking about? There is nothing that I'm hiding from him. I'm talking about what happened 10 years ago. If I tell him about it, he will leave you. How did you know about it? Remember Joyce? She told me all about it. She promised that she wouldn't say a word about it. Oh, but dear, the secret is going to come out. At least you'll have some months left to stay in the house before my brother comes back. So you want to trade my secret for my money? Yes. Choose what is more valuable between your secret and your money. You know what? You can keep the money. I can make more of it. I will tell you where you can get the password. It's stored at my mother's house in her laptop. Tell me the address. I don't know where your mother's house is. Not a problem. Let me send you the address. After this, we are done. Hmm. It was pleasure doing business with you. Just know after this, I don't like you. I hope you leave town and leave me and your brother alone. You're selfish and you'll pay for this one day. How can you be so cruel to your own sister-in-law? I've been so kind to you while your brother was gone. Now you're willing to destroy that relationship for money. You don't know how that money is going to change my life. Finally, I'm going to have all that I have ever wanted. Fuck relationships. They will not feed me. Are you not even going to ask me how I got out of the basement you locked me in? Quit being a crybaby. I was going to come and get you. Later that day, Ella and Brian. Hi, we need to meet tonight. We need to settle this debt. Even though you can be unfair. Oh, really? Unfair is the fact that you left me high and dry. You thought you were too good for me and decided to marry that Matt guy. Uh, now where is he? He leaves you for months on end. Our filing ended years ago after you got my brother in trouble. I never agreed to date a drug dealer. Oh, come on. You enjoyed how my money took care of you when you had nothing. Both you and your mom did. Now you want to act holy? You took advantage of my family because we had nothing. My brother is rotting in prison because he took the fall for you. Make it make sense. It doesn't matter. Tonight we're gonna settle this. You know where to meet me. You better have my money and not some stories. Or, I will make sure that your brother does not live to see his parole. You know that he is getting out of prison. Yes, I know that. I know everything, sweet Ella. Gosh, I cannot believe I ever thought you were a good person. Thank goodness that I got out before you ruined my life too. You do not seem to have that great a life. You must get lonely in that house all by yourself while your husband is doing what? Don't speak about him. I'll see you soon. A couple of hours later. It was nice seeing you and doing business with you. Now stop messing with my brother. You got what you wanted. Sure, no problem at all. Later that day, Ella and Mom. I managed to give him his money. Everything that he deserved. Wonderful. You got to kill two birds with one stone. Have you heard anything from your sister-in-law yet? Nothing yet, but I am expecting to hear how her little mission went in a while. I'm sure that she's going to get a very nasty surprise. She should have never tried to mess with you like that. Can you imagine that she tried to blackmail me when her brother already knew about my history? The problem is that she underestimates how strong your relationship with her brother is. Either way, she needs to be taught a lesson. She is so entitled that is actually insufferable. I know. She needs to learn that she cannot just take what she wants from me. A couple of minutes later, Ella and Mildred. What the hell did you do? This is not your mother's house. Why would you make me come here and turn everything upside down? Yes, it's not her house. That is the house of the drug dealer who got my brother arrested. The one who you wanted to threaten to tell my husband about? By the way, your brother knew my history before we got married. He promised never to tell his family because he didn't want them to see me in any other way. So you tricked me? Yeah, I've already withdrawn all of my money. You have to speak to him and tell him to let me go. 
Why would I do that? He's super pissed and could hurt me? In the first place, why did you think that messing up a person's home was gonna go well for you? If it were my mother's house, then you would have never been sorry. Please, you cannot let him hurt me. Don't worry, I will not. You'll be out of there sooner than you think. Oh my god, you would really save my life after all that I did? I know the kind of person he is. I will not allow him to deal with you the way he is about to. Because I'm pretty sure that he's mad as hell right now. Wow, thank you so much. I'm just satisfied that you messed up his house. He deserves so much more than that. I hate him so much for what he did to my brother. And how he messed up our lives. A couple of minutes later. Oh my god, the cops are here. What should I do? You need to save me. Yes, you're being saved right now. I hope that you have a lawyer. What the fuck did you do? Dealt with the two people who are giving me stress in my life. That is what. My brother is not going to be happy with this. You will see. I will make you pay. My dear, you better hope that you have a good lawyer because I wouldn't want to be in that house right now. A couple of days later, Ella and Brian. You know, what you did was actually very clever. What are you talking about? Don't act dumb, okay? That girl turned my house upside down. She even knew where to find the keys. By the time the cops got here, they managed to find the stash. How did you get out of jail? They arrested you! I paid bail like any normal person. I get this game that you're playing and you're still mad about your brother, but it's fine. I'll let it slide. I think that we're probably even now. I don't know why you still have my number. I don't owe you anything, so there's no need for us to talk. You do know that I suffered a big loss thanks to you, right? I don't know what you're talking about. It's a good thing that you did because it means there are less drugs on the street. Bye! Goodbye, sweet Ella. That was very well played. A couple of days later, Ella and Mildred, I got out of jail with a warning. You're lucky that I didn't press assault charges. You will wish that you did. I don't appreciate the way that you ruined my reputation. Now everyone is going to think that I'm working with a drug dealer. He should have known better than to go snooping around his house. He lost a big stash because of you. He should be careful. The Brian I know does not easily forget. A couple of hours later, I'm going to tell my brother everything that you put me through. Open up the door. I'm not home. When are you going to be home then? Not anytime soon. I'm putting that house on the market after renovations. When your brother comes back, we're going to be renovating houses and selling them or letting them out. What the fuck? You already used the money you got so quickly. As I should. It's my money and not yours. Well, I still want to talk to you. My brother is not going to be okay with what you did to me. You can tell him yourself because he's going to be back in two weeks. What? He is? He didn't tell me. Yeah, he told me. I also told him everything that you did to me. He's very excited to see you and give you a piece of his mind. He's my brother. And I'm sure that he's not going to be mad at me. We'll see about that. I would suggest that you start thinking of an apology. By the way, I bought a new house, but you're not welcome here. Unless you attack me again, you can be a pretty violent person. Oh, don't bother. But what I want from you. A couple of nights later, Ella and Mom. Oh my god, Mom! I'm so scared! I'm gonna drive to your house right now and stay here until my husband comes back to the country. Why? What is going on? Someone broke into the house. Luckily, the alarm went off and they were scared off. Were you hurt? No, but someone was in my bedroom and I think they were looking for me. They didn't know that I was in the study fast asleep. I was doing some work in there and dozed off. When the alarm went off, I woke up. I decided to hide till security came. Did they take anything? Yes, they took some stuff. I don't know how much stuff, but yeah. Do you think that Brian has started again? Nah, he said that he would leave me alone. Well, check the security footage. Maybe this will lead us to the culprit. Gosh, I'm so scared. I'm so sorry about this, dear. Drive safe. Call me when you need me to open up the gate for you. Thank you so much, Mom. I'll see you in a bit. A week later. So, how is my son-in-law doing? I have just picked him up from the airport. He's so tired, but he's very happy to be home. 
Before I show him the new house, we are gonna sleep in the hotel. Okay, that is great. Stay safe, please. A couple of hours later. Hey, have you heard? No, I haven't heard anything. Why, did something happen? Yes, Ryan is no more. What the fuck? What happened? They say it was a drive-by. He was apparently at home with his girlfriend when this happened and she was also shot. Wait, who was this girlfriend? Because last time I heard, he wasn't dating anyone. I don't know, but I hope the girl survives. Imagine getting caught up in something like that because of a man. You know, if I hadn't listened to you, mom, I would have ended up in that situation. Poor girl. I hope that she survives at least. As for Brian, he lived by the sword, so he died by it. I know. I cannot believe that he's gone. A day later, Ella and Mildred. You were the girl with Brian? What the fuck? Were you not scared of him after what he did to his house? He wanted his money back, so we figured out a payment plan. I didn't have to pay him back at the end. And since he stopped my brother from giving me money, he took care of me. You nearly died right now and left your kid an orphan. Are you mad? What is up with you and money? You're so obsessed with it that it's disgusting. Well, excuse me, I'm not like you. I had no choice. I needed the money and he was willing to take care of me. Now that he's gone, what's the plan? What else can I do but carry on? My baby needs to eat. No, get the hell out of that life. Why would I want to get out of it? I cannot go to jail. I am much smarter than I used to be. Either way, I'm sure that his right-hand man is going to want to take over the business. I can handle him and become my own boss. I'm so tired of relying on men for money. It's time for me to be a boss. You should be worried about your own life, not mine. The people who did this to him are still out there. Are you really gonna take your chances? Stop being in my damn business. You tricked me with the Bitcoin and I landed in jail, right? Good, we're even. Let me do what I wanna do. It's not like you or my brother care about me either way. The both of you haven't supported me at all. You're low-key starting to piss me off. Okay, we'll leave you alone. When you're stuck in this and you cannot get out, Please don't call me because I'm not going to respond to you. Huh. I don't need you for anything. A couple of weeks later. What the hell? You didn't take your son from school? The teacher called my husband. He's at home with us. Thanks for taking him. We'll be there soon. Nah, I'm gonna call CPS. You have been late taking him every week. In addition that he's running a fever and it says that you're never home. At least get him a babysitter. You're his aunt. It's your responsibility to take care of him. That may be the case, but you're being negligent right now because you're so determined to do illegal stuff. This is not the way. Did what happened to Ryan doesn't scare you? I know for sure what happened to him was a long time coming. I just did my best to capitalize on that. Why do you even feel sorry for him? He was an idiot and made a lot of enemies. Please tell me that I had nothing to do with him passing. Who knows? Maybe I got tired of having to rely on him. I had no idea that you were on that gangsta stuff. Come on. You have a way of making money and I have mine. Just be careful. A couple of days later, Ella and Brian. Hey, this is someone who has your best interests at heart. Why do you have Brian's phone? Look, I suspect that your sister-in-law is the one who ordered the hit on him. Wait. I know who you are, but I will not say it. Yes, it's me. I just wanted to let you know that the breaking at your house wasn't an accident. Your sister-in-law and Brian were responsible for that. We got prints, but there is no match in the database. Check the prints. It was her. He made her do it because, well, her prints weren't in the system. He made sure that she wasn't in the system when he bailed her out of jail. Why would he do that when she owed him? Because she was close to you and hated you, he thought he would find a way to get back at you. That night, she had permission to do what she wanted to do to you, with no consequences. You were lucky that she didn't find you. Why are you telling me this? She's taking the business in the wrong direction, and acting like she's the boss when she's only been doing this for like two minutes, and I want her out. Now, I'd never hurt her because... She's a woman. I just think that she needs some jail time so that she could get her head screwed on straight. 
I also want justice for Brian. I took his phone when he got shot because there was so much that no one needed to see. Wow, right now I'm truly shocked. I don't know what to say. But thank you for the information. I will let my husband know and that he's gonna deal with this. Please, do something about her. Working with her is going to get us into trouble. I'm only doing this to protect her child. He doesn't need to be around someone who's involved in shady dealings. I'm gonna start the process of taking the child away from her because she hasn't been a good mother lately. She hasn't been good at anything. I told him not to get this woman involved in our business. Oh, I knew she was trouble when I saw what she did to his house. Instead of being mad and, you know, doing something about it, he got even more attracted to her. He liked danger a little too much. Thanks for letting me know. I'm gonna deal with her. Accordingly. Don't worry. Peace. A day later, Ella and Mom. I have spoken to CBS and they said that we have a strong case. That is very kind thing that you're doing for your nephew, my dear. His mother is a mess and will only make him the next Brian. I know, it's so sad how the cycle works. I also give a tip to the police about the break-in. And I'm sure that after they're done investigating, they'll take her in. She needs to be taken in and stay there for a long time. You have been letting her get away with so many things for a while now. I know, I've tried to be understanding of her. I know that she struggled with money, but if she was not so lazy, then she would have had an honest living. How's your husband taking all of this? Honestly, he just want her out of our lives. He told me that she tried to turn him against me when he came back from work, but he didn't believe her. He tried to tell her to fix things with me, but she didn't want to. Now that she's involved in shady business, he doesn't want anything to do with her. I can imagine how disappointed he must be in her. Well, I have to go now. I have a conference to attend. Have fun, Mom. We'll talk later. Ella and Mildred. So, I got a call from CPS. You got anything to do with that? You know that I do. Stop asking stupid questions. I bet you don't even know where your kid is right now. I know where he is. He's at the daycare. No, he's not. CPS took him already. They tried to contact you and he couldn't reach you for ages. Oh no, I didn't listen to the rest of the voice notes. I so wish that I had finished you off that night. Damn, you had the guts to admit it? Yes, I am now a well-known and feared dealer. No one can touch me. I'm basically invisible. I like the confidence that you have in yourself, but you're not untouchable. You have to answer to the law like anyone else, and trust me, you will feel the wrath of it. Today, it's your son. Tomorrow, it could be your freedom. I never admitted to anything, and you have no proof against me. Be careful who you move, honey. Be very careful. Ella and mom. Damn, they busted her doing a deal? Yes, and she also got charged for breaking and entering into my house. Her prints match the ones that were in my house. She might think that she is smart, but she is really sloppy. Oh, thank goodness that she got arrested. And this time, I don't think that she'll make a bill. I too have that feeling. Let us say that not everyone that she works with likes her. I heard that she's the one who ordered the hit on Brian. Oh my god, are you for real? No, that is sickening. I know that she is very greedy and shady, but... For her to be so cold-hearted. The man had it coming. He's the one who got sloppy and invited her to his bed. Did he not learn anything from the Samson and Delilah? Let's be real. That man never touched a Bible in his entire life. Oh, and good news? Yes. I just spoke to my brother and he said that his release is soon. Praise the Lord at last. The people that Mildred was working with threw her under the bus and make her take the fall for everything. Gaining her 20 years in prison. My husband and I then adopted her son, and she hasn't seen him since. My brother got out, and I gave him a job renovating the fixer-uppers that me and my husband had been buying. Would you send an in-law to jail if they committed a crime against you? 